Hey, how's it going, everyone? I have another new product to review today for you. This uh, case was sent to you by the amazing people over at Walkcase. Huge thank you to them for sending this out for a review. This is a brand new new this is a brand new released handy case for the iPhone 6, featured in a mysterious uh, green color. Now, the unique thing about this case is it's made out of a rubber silicone material that features a, a card storage back, so you can easily uh, store your credit cards, gift cards, reward cards, or anything like that, and even a couple extra. Perfect if you're spending time with your uh, friends or family and don't want to carry around a big bulky wallet. This might be a perfect solution for and you. Before we get inside, I really love Walkcase's packaging because you don't have to fumble around with tearing anything open, using scissors to cut open anything. It features a magnetic strip right on the side that easily folds open. So now taking a quick look at the case. As I mentioned before, the majority of this case is a silicone rubber material, but it has a heavy duty TPU shell all the way around. So that way it increases the uh, drop protection. On the back, you'll see you have some uh, Walkcase uh, branding on the bottom, along with this very rigid card style case. So that way you'll easily keep your card secured without damaging them or bending them in on any the way. On the camera hole, you get a pretty uh, deep uh, cutout. So this way, when you're taking a picture or recording a video, you have no washed out uh, photos or videos, as well as no interference. On the inside you get some uh, nice uh, protection on the back with this uh, smooth uh, TPU uh, coating so this way it won't scratch the back of your iPhone or damage it in any way. And you notice on the tops and the bottom I uh, carved out the slits all the way across. This is to increase for impact resistance so in case you were to drop your phone with this case on the case would take uh, most of the end. Look at what the case looks like with the phone already installed. Now the installation is very easy. Just go over to your button side first. Once you have that aligned, go over to the other side and snap it right into place. Now taking a quick look around, you'll see it is very form-fitting. So if you are using a screen protector, whether it be plastic or tempered glass, I would recommend using one that only covers the screen and not all the way out to the edges. So that way you reduce the chance of any bubbling or interference. On the top you see you have a decent amount of lay on the table design. So you can rest assured if you were to lay your phone face down, your front of your screen wouldn't get scratched at all. Take a look at the buttons, you'll see you have your lock button covered up. Very easy to press. Same with your volume buttons, you get that nice satisfying tactile feedback along with a very large opening for your silent switch. So no matter what size fingers you have, you should have no problem turning that on or off. So now let me uh, put some cards in here and they'll just show you uh, how well it holds up. So now to insert your cards, it's very simple. Just go over to the one, one side, place it in. Now you want to make sure when you put the cards in, push them in all the way until you can't push anymore, so that way now they're securely fastened in now there. Let's do the shake test real quick, just to see if they uh, hold up and don't fall out. So I'm shaking pretty vigorously, and you'll see the cards that don't come out. And just in case you think I might be uh, pressing down the cards, I'll hold it like this. As you see, they still now, don't fall out. your cards is very simple. Just go over to the right hand side, press down, and they easily slide right out and you can pick and choose which ones you like. Now because this is rubber, some people will get confused and think, oh I can put like 10-15 cards in here. It's not that stretchy, so you might be able to fit about 2 or 3 cards in here. Or if you want to do a combination of 1 or 2 of your most used cards, plus a couple of bills. So that way you don't have to carry around a wallet and a phone. Just a suggestion. On the bottom, you get three individual cutouts. One for your lighting port, headphone jack, and speaker grill. Now these aren't too work well out. with the most uh, third-party accessories, as well as standard Apple connectors. I do want to mention, however, since they aren't that large of openings, you will have to remove the case if you uh, choose to dock it, or if you have oversized uh, headphone connectors. So overall, it's a pretty nice uh, case to have. 
I like the fact that you can not only protect your phone from most uh, shocks or drops, but you can also store a couple of your most essential uh, cards, as well as a little bit of cash uh, for when you're uh, going out for them. The sole downside to this case is for the back uh, cover, I wish they went one with a TPU uh, plastic material versus a uh, silicone uh, rubber-like uh, substance. Because I feel like uh, over time, since this is a uh, rubber, you can get longevity a lot less as opposed to if it was a TPU. Frame. I also want to point out the fact that it's currently unavailable on Amazon because they only made a thousand units and unfortunately they already sold they out. Were fortunate enough uh, to be able to pick up one uh, while they were in stock on Amazon, please uh, don't be afraid to share your thoughts uh, down below on what uh, your opinions are of the case. Whether you liked it, if you thought it was too bulky, too thin, not enough protection. I accept any and all uh, feedback. Now a quick look at the Wattcase Handy for iPhone 6 and 6S. Once again, huge thank you to Wattcase for sending this out if for you the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.